Praise the Lord. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, church. Hallelujah. All right, it's time for service. Thank God for the Sunday school. Are you ready for service? All right, let's rise to our feet. All right, Levi's come on stage. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in our lives. Thank you, thank you, Lord. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in this house. Thank you, thank you, Lord. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in our lives. Thank you, thank you, Lord. We thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in this church. Thank you, thank you, Lord. We thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For everything you have done in our schools. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For everything you have done on our jobs. Thank you, thank you, Lord. We thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For everything you have done on our trips. Thank you, thank you, Lord. As we journey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Going out and coming in. For everything you have done on our journeys. Thank you, thank you, Lord. We thank you, thank you, Lord. Brethren, it's Sunday, it's Thanksgiving Sunday, the first Sunday in the month of July, even though it's already seven days gone. But I want you to understand that it's, it's, it's the mercy of God that has kept us so far to bring us from all the months of since the beginning of this year to see the first Sunday in the month of July. We need to be grateful. You know, if you look around and see what is going on, you will know that we have reasons to be thankful to the Almighty God. So for a minute, I want you to just say, Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for, and we're, we're grateful. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for going out and coming in. We thank you for your help. We thank you, oh God, Lord, because you've just been great gracious and merciful to us. We may not be where we want to be, but we are definitely not where we used to be. And we are on the journey to a better place in the name of Jesus. Has God been good to you? Have you seen the hand of God? Have you experienced God's move? Please lift up your voice this morning and say, Father, thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your mercy in the name of Jesus. I'm grateful, oh God. I'm grateful for everything that you've done, for the food that I eat, for the for the drink, for the water that I drink, for the roof over my head, even for clothes on my back. I'm grateful, oh God, for shoes on my feet. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everything, for everything you've done. I bring my gratitude. I don't take anything for granted, oh God. Lord, I know it's, if it hadn't been for you who's been on my side, where would I be? Thank you, Father, oh God, when the enemy gathered against me. Lord, you scattered them. Why? Because you said the gathering is none of you. And I'm grateful to you, oh Lord Jesus. I'm thankful. Lord, and when I went out, you took me out. You brought me back safely. I'm grateful, oh God. When I was about to lose, to lose it, to lose my resources, to lose my house, to lose my, my, my sleep. Lord, you came through for me, oh God. You spoke up. You stood up. You backed me up. I'm grateful, oh God. I don't take it for granted. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Eternally grateful unto you. I see your hand in the name of Jesus. How many people? Yesterday, I still spoke with somebody. 
He said he slept and he woke up with a stroke. He couldn't open the right side of his eyes. Couldn't move his hand. Just like that overnight. I want to say thank you, Jesus. Let's, 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 let's thank God one more time for yourself, for your children. You know, there are so many evil going on, so many things. Uh, and you know, the, the, you, you, unless you hear somebody else's story, you know, thank you. We're not rejoicing over anybody who's had a tough time. In fact, we pray for anyone who has a tough time. But we do not. If we are okay, we want to be okay. We don't want to go through any rough time. Father, keep us from rough times. And those of us going through rough times, bring us out in the name of Jesus. So we are thankful, Lord, that you continue to be strong on our behalf. We're grateful. We're grateful for the jobs. We're, and, and even when with, without the jobs, uh, we're still grateful to you because you will open the door. You are the one, the, you, you are the one who can open the door. Thank you, Lord. We we'll bless your name, O oh God. Uh, as we continue today's service, Father, please continue with us. We invite your presence. Uh, Father, without you, we can do absolutely nothing. But Lord, with you here in our midst this morning, we can do all things. Thank you. Father, as we continue this morning, continue with us. Show us your mercy. Show us your salvation. Speak to each and every one of us. Let our joy be full. Transition power from the hands of the enemy into our own hands. Give us peace. Lord, in this service, as we focus on worshiping you, Lord, please accept our worship. We come with a heart of gratitude, acknowledging all that you've done for us knowing we didn't do any of it by ourselves but it was just you out of your mercy therefore father please accept our thanksgiving accept our thanksgiving so continue in this service have your way speak to each and every one of us receive our thanksgiving at the end of it all lord let's have cause to glorify your name lord there are people who are joining us online father let the power of god that is flowing here let it flow with them as well Lord, uh, what is important is that as we continue in the service, engage us. Uh, help us to stay focused on you. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's those who lose focus on you that they drown. Peter was drowning when he lost focus of you. Father, we will not drown. We will not lose focus. Throughout the service, for the rest of this week, for the rest of this month, we will not lose focus on you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We will bless you forever and ever. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. And everybody uh, 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 say it louder. I don't know why I'm not hearing. I'm hearing the choir, but I'm not hearing your, your own. Uh, I want someone who is excited to be in the house of God. And, and who knows that God will come true for him. Uh, shout the loudest. Uh, praise the Lord. The shout inside. So how many of us are in the winning side this morning? Okay. Doing that, if you are in the winning side, can you move forward, please? Forward ever, backward never. We need to move forward and fill the front seats so that those who are coming, they will sit at the back. We are the one who should be a first partaker of today's blessing. Please, can we move forward, please? Can we move forward? We don't even know. Maybe this is the seed that the Lord has prepared for us. Nobody will take my own blessing today. Oh, uh -huh. oh thank you for saying amen for me. <laughs> we all go home with our blessing. And today is the first Sunday of the month of July, which happens to be half of the year 2024. In that attitude, can we greet each other? Happy New Month. Let's go around and greet each other. Let's greet each other. We can give high five. Happy first Sunday of the month. And please, please, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. How many of us ready to give him praise and worship this morning? 
It's by His mercy that we are alive this morning. Yes, Lord, Father, we worship you. In that attitude, let's lift up our hands and bless the name of the Lord. Let's give Him praise. Let's thank Him from January of this year, 2024, to this moment. And by His grace, we will see the end of this year. This year will not consume us in the name of Jesus. We'll be, we'll be among those that will shout hallelujah in 2025 in the name of Jesus. And yes to come in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's lift up our hands and bless the name of the Lord. Lifting your hands is, means that you surrender all to him. Father, we surrender all to you this morning. Have your way this morning. Father, we worship you. We adore you because there is no one like you, Jesus. Father, take absolute control of our worship and praise this morning. Begin to say good things to the King of Kings. It's by His mercy that we are alive, O oh Lord. Father, we worship. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord with my mouth, with my mouth, will I be The mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing, I will sing, I will sing, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord with my mouth, with my mouth. Thy faithfulness, 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 thy Forever I will sing. I will sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Forever I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth, with my mouth, will I may know thy faithfulness.
you are, as old as you are, you will never change. A shape of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. A shape of days, a shape of days. From everlasting, everlasting to everlasting, we will praise you. From everlasting, everlasting to everlasting, we will praise you. From everlasting, everlasting to everlasting, we will praise you. From everlasting, everlasting to everlasting, we will praise you. From everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Are we ready to give him praise this morning? Yes. Hallelujah. Hey. Yes, 
we pray is to our God. Every word of worship, He want to come. Every prayer, every prayer is to our God. Every prayer, every prayer, every prayer is to our God. Every word of worship, He want to come. Every prayer, every prayer, every prayer is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship, He won our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. I worship you. Lord, you reign forever. You reign. You. We worship you. We worship you. You reign. 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 I worship you. I worship you. Lord, you reign forever. Everybody sing. We worship you. You win. 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 We worship you. Almighty God. Brethren, today is the seventh day of the seventh month. Hallelujah. Seven is a figure of perfection. It is the beginning of perfection in our lives. The remaining part of the year will be perfect in the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and just praise God once again and say, Father, the remaining part of the year, make it perfect. Perfect everything that pertains to me. 
Perfect my health. Perfect my family relationship. Perfect my job. Perfect my finances. Every area of my life that is requiring perfection. Lord God Almighty, bring about perfection. The Bible says, after that we have suffered this while, you the God of all grace, who has called us unto eternal glory, you will make perfect. You will establish. You will strengthen. You will settle us. Father, settle us. In this new, the half year, the remaining of the year, the half of the year remaining, Jehovah, perfect us, establish us, strengthen us, Jehovah, settle us. In every area of life that we need your settlement, Father, bring about your settlement. Let us be settled. Financially, let us be settled. Oh God, in our health, let us be settled. In our family, oh God, bring about settlement. In our work with you, oh God, bring about settlement. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. Blessed be your holy name forevermore. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Our Father and our God, we praise you. We exalt your name. You alone are God. Besides you, there is no other. The Bible says, for whom have I in heaven but you? There's no one that I desire on earth besides you. Thank you, Almighty God, for arising for us. Jehovah, we thank you. Your presence has not left us, O God. You have continued to abide with us. You have preserved us from evil. Jehovah, we are grateful. You have provided for us. Father, we are grateful. Be thou highly exalted in the name of Jesus. This morning, as your children, we have come to say thank you. It's a Thanksgiving day, and we have come to say thank you, Lord. For who you are, we say thank you, Lord. For what you do, we say thank you, Lord. Father, for being your children, we say thank you, Lord. Lord, we are grateful. Let our praises be acceptable unto you. Father, manifest your power, your might, and your presence in our midst more than ever before. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. You, For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Shout hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Let's be seated in his wonderful presence. If there be any in our midst who is in, with us for the very first time on a Sunday morning, you may just please raise up your hand so that we can recognize you specially. If today is your first day here, your first day in our midst, please signify by raising up your hand so that we can recognize you, welcome you specially. Hallelujah. Amen. Did I hear somebody say they are on their way? Hallelujah. They are on their way. Hallelujah. Oh, a young boy there. Oh, mine, I didn't see him. Oh, so sorry. All right, be on your feet. Let us welcome you him. Welcome Let us welcome him. Be on your feet. Yeah, stand up, Lord. stand up. <laughs> you are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see all over you the glory. of the Lord and we love you from the depths of our hearts. Hallelujah. We'll be seeing you after service. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, you are welcome truly to the presence of the Almighty God this morning. It's a perfect time to be in his presence. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord that has brought us here this morning, we bless each and every one of us. No one of us will live here the same. He will visit our circumstances and our situations, and we will live here rejoicing in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Is there anyone in our midst that wants to share a testimony? All right. Are you raising up your hand, kid? Huh? You have a testimony? All right. Come forward. All right. Come forward, brother. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, brethren. <laughs> I have a testimony. Amen. The testimony is that 
A long time ago, my tooth was was always paining me when I used to eat my food, and 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 I waited for long and and just for some while they removed it. I had to be taking some medicine, but it's it. Thank God that I removed. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha did his work wait, again. Wait. Come, come, baby. Let's we'll pray with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm also thanking God um, for helping us to see the light of today, for mm-hmm. helping us to also come to the half of this year. And I'm also thanking God on behalf of my family too. I think this time last year, uh, we buried my other sister, but we thank God we are still moving on. Then I'm also thanking God upon my work too. The Lord has been with me. Amen. And um, I think at the course of the week or during the month, thereabout, I'm also, um, uh, 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 there, is, there was a concern in my mind because of where I work now. I work in shipping and receiving. So it looks like everything that comes to the business comes through me. Everything that goes out goes through me. And because I'm new in that role, I don't know exactly what to do. The person that was handing over to me did not, was not willing to train me when he was leaving. So I had a lot of issues on the work. And um, when there's an error in anything that comes in, the first person they will ask is from me. When there's an error in anything that goes out, the first person they will ask is me. So and there has been an error here and there and, uh, and, and all that. So recent, um, because of the weather change, I also get to um, when they send things out, it was going to go at uh, minus 18 degrees. But um, I think there are some issues where I did not really know. So I would just ship things either. They might be at minus 18, but the truck taking them might not be at minus 18. So I, I, I was not aware of that, which was my fault. But in the last two or three weeks, that I think um, I now I, I came to the point of telling myself that I should not be a source of problem, but I should be a source of solution providers. And God has been helping me. Uh, I've been able to correct some of my own errors. I've been able to also see things that I'm doing that are wrong. And I'm also reporting it to them that this is what is might be causing these issues that you guys are having. And I thank God that um, even this last Friday, there's some tasks they, give, they always give me on Fridays that I should complete before 12, which has always been very demanding for me. That, in fact, I have to lose some of my breaks so that I can meet up for that 12. But even this last Friday, I think I finished that task by one. But I say thank God for helping me to overcome it very much. Uh, and I would also sing to the Lord, and I would dance to him. And I also encourage everybody to join me in singing to my Lord. OK, then I'm also thanking God for my son, even though he's not, he's shy of coming out. Um, if, if my mom is there, my mom will say, uh, there's a song she will say for people like that. Um, Boya lo wa shokwe, eh, boya lo wa shokwe. I will have sang that to him, but it, I doubt if he will understand it. But it's, he had it a year to his age um, in this month. I think um, that was on Thursday. So he had it a year to his own age. So, so God keep it all of us. are going to come out. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'll sing my song. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for his faithfulness over my life. Uh, honestly, God has been faithful. Uh, many times, maybe I have not really come out to share of his uh, goodness in my life, my family. But I want to really appreciate him since we uh, relocated. He has been so faithful, opening doors, hearing our prayers. And uh, I finished my program, uh, study program last um, month. We had a graduation. I want to thank God that it was a very huge success. And uh, for my daughter, she actually prompted me to come. Yeah, because of what God did. Um, and then I want to thank God because on Monday 15th, she's going to be a year older. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So Lua is going to be eight years on Monday. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I also have a testimony. So last Friday was end of month. And in my place of work, we needed to do some billings. And then um, I did this. I uploaded some files. Af- shortly after I uploaded those files, I realized that there were some major errors. That weekend, <laughs> I was like, well, I should cook my retire, Joe. I'm tired, <laughs> you know. <laughs> ah, because it was massive. Ah, so but when I got to work on Monday, I checked the files. Those pins were not built. Ah, I said, 
recorded. Thank you. Because we would have sent out wrong invoices to customers. <sighs> so I, I recreated the manifest and I called the people in IT. I said, please help me upload. I called them. I said, did you see this manifest I created? Did you see them in the system? They said, no, they didn't see anything. I said, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So anyway, I recreated the manifest and they were uploaded and they were successfully uploaded. Hallelujah. So I started looking for those ones that were wrong because they would be in the system. But because they did not get manifested, they were not invoiced, and, you know, I was really happy for that. So wherever they were, we could delete them, you know. So I informed our team leader of the sources of the, you know, upload and all that. So I decided to check what they call the FTP site, where you usually upload the files. And lo and behold, brethren, they were just lying there. They didn't move anywhere. The Holy Spirit put a stop. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just, you know, deleted all of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Our God is good, you know. Uh, when we cry to him, he answers as well. Sometimes we are finding solutions. And I was like, okay, well. Anyway, I was just saying, you know, thinking of the words that will happen, but God has better plans for all of us. Amen. Let's learn to trust him. Amen. Let's just point our hands to the testifiers and thank God for the testimonies. Let's praise him for how that the almighty God has come through for us in the various testimonies that we have given. Praise him, adore him, and use this opportunity even to, you know, ask for his divine intervention in your own situation in your own circumstances wisdom knowledge and understanding to excel jehovah we are we are asking oh god for your divine intervention intervene in our lives oh god thank you almighty god blessed be your holy name forevermore in jesus name we have prayed mama will you pray for us <laughs> Father, we bless you. Thank you for these, your children, who have remembered to come back and give you thanks. For some of us may not understand the gravity of it, but Father God Almighty, thank you for deliverance in various ways. Thank you for your healing power that is at work. Thank you for your daughter, this little one that even remembered to come and give you praise. Father, we appreciate you for her life, and we ask that you perfect everything that concerns her in Jesus' name. Father, Lord Almighty, that you will make her every wit whole in the name of Jesus. Every tree the Father has not planted, we command it uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. We cover her with the precious blood of Jesus. And we declare that affliction will not rise again to this child in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God Almighty, for your son that you are helping on the job. It can only be you. Thank you, Father, for how far you have brought him. Thank you, Father God, for the greater places you are taking him to. Father God, thank you for open, open doors in his life. Thank you, Father God. Receive our thanks in Jesus' name. We ask, Father Lord, you will rest your hand upon him for good. That, Father God, you will grant him favor at the place of his work in the name of Jesus. Father God, that on this job, you will show yourself faithful. You will set before him open doors in the name of Jesus. Thank you also for your son that you have helped since they moved here. Thank you, Father God Almighty, for establishing them in this land. We're asking, Lord, you will perfect all that concerns him and his family in the name of Jesus. Father God, that you will do greater works, greater and mightier things in their lives as individuals and as a family in the name of Jesus. Thank you also for your daughter that you delivered from error. Father God, thank you. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for the mercy you showed her on this job. Thank you because it is you alone who can deliver in this manner. Lord, we give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus. We ask, Father God, that you will be in her head and in her understanding. We ask, Father God, you will make yourself strong on her behalf in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father God Almighty, we ask, O oh Lord, that even as she continues, for as long as she continues on this job, Father God, you will continue to give unto her insight, understanding, sharpness of, uh, of, sharpness of memory in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for perfecting all that concerns her. We give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, 
Uh, this is Thanksgiving for the month of July. And I can see that a lot of us are celebrating birthdays in the month of July. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, so birthday celebrants for the month of July, let's gather here. Gather here. <laughs> birthday celebrants. July, let's sing for us now. July is a perfect month. Day. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. What day is your birthday? July 15th. Oh, July 15th. Happy birthday. July 4th. July 4th. Happy birthday, belated. Ju <laughs> July 28th. Oh, wow. Happy birthday, man. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Mine's July 6th. July 6th already. Okay. Happy birthday. Hallelujah. My own birthday is 13th, hallelujah. Saturday. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Mommy will pray for us. Oh hallelujah. Please let's stretch forth our hands towards them and bless them. That in this new year, the Lord will show himself faithful towards them. That in this new year, they will experience more. Please, let's keep it down. In this new year, we will experience more of God's goodness and mercy. That in this new year, that they will be surrounded on every side by the mercy of the Lord, by the goodness of the Lord, by the faithfulness of the Almighty in the name of Jesus. I can't hear us praying. Remember, as we pray for them, we are also praying for ourselves. Yes, let's bless them with every manner of, of blessing. That the glory of the Lord will surround them by day and by night. That in this new year, the Lord will renew, he will renew his covenant towards them. He will show fresh um, dimensions of his love towards them in the name of Jesus Christ. That with long life, the Lord will satisfy them and show them his salvation in the name of Jesus. As we have prayed, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Eternal Father, we thank you and we bless you. We thank you for the gift of life. Lord, your word says, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. We ask, O oh God, that as these ones number their days again in this new year, that they will continually apply their hearts unto wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask, Father God Almighty, that they will know you and the power of your resurrection, that these ones will be made conformable unto your likeness and your image in the name of Jesus Christ. We are asking that in this new year, for, for all of them, young and old, there will be new encounters, fresh encounters of your mercy, fresh encounters of your love, fresh encounters of your goodness in the name of Jesus Christ. You will cause the eyes of their understanding to be enlightened, that they will see what is the depth and the height and the width of your love towards them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, in this new year of life, we ask, Father God, that you will cause all things to work together for their good in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask you to perfect all that concerns them. That, Father God Almighty, you will be their son and you will be their shield. You will give unto them grace and glory. No good thing will you withhold from them as they continue to walk before you uprightly in the name of Jesus. In this new year of life, we are asking, Father God, that you will encompass them with favor as with a shield. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
We ask, Father God Almighty, that these ones shall be hidden in the name of the Lord. Your word says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. We declare safety over all of them in the name of Jesus. That Lord, in the morning, Father, you will keep their going out. In the noontime, Father, you will be with them. At the night, you will keep their coming in. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we stand against any manner of affliction. We, we declare that the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon their lot. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, in this new year, you will cause the lines to fall onto them in pleasant places. In the name of Jesus Lord Almighty, you will cause them to mount up with wings as the eagle. They will run, they will not be weary, they will walk and they will not faint. In the name of Jesus. Father God, be the glory over their lives. By day and by night, be the glory over their lives. Father, surround them, O Lord. Surround them by your fire. Surround them with your fire. Let them know you. Let them walk in obedience to you. Let them hear you. Let them be led by you, Father. We thank you and we bless you. We declare all manner of blessings upon their lives. Sir. Let them be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Let them be blessed in their going out and in their coming in. Let them be blessed in the works of their hands. Sir. Let their storehouses be blessed. Sir. Let their needing troughs be blessed. Sir. Let the works of their hands be blessed, Father. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal God. We worship and we exalt you. We declare that celebration will not cease in these lives. Sir. Celebration will not cease in the household of faith in the name of Jesus. Thank you precious father. We give you glory and honor in Jesus wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you man. Thank you man. Happy birthday to all of us. Hallelujah. Amen. So if um, I'm not being partial because it's my month. It's my birthday month. <laughs> but I think we're we going to start a tradition. It just occurred to me why mommy was praying for us. So, Brani Dada is in charge of our IT. So, if you are celebrating your birthday for the month of July, even when if it is past, you know, just send your pictures to him, and then we will celebrate you in our church platform. Hallelujah. Amen. Is that good? Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, Brani, you will supply us your... Your, um, your email address. The email address will be much better. Amen. So please see him. Send your beautiful pictures to him. For next month, August, just send your picture. Just get ready. You know, take a special picture, you know, and send to him. And we will celebrate you on our platform in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, let's listen to the announcements from the technical unit. Amen. Good morning, King's Court. Today is Sunday, July 7th, and we're glad you're here on another beautiful Sunday in King's Court. And today is the first Sunday in the month of July, which means it's Thanksgiving Sunday. I hope you brought your dancing shoes because we'll be praising God for the new month. And happy birthday to everyone born in the month of July. May you grow in wisdom, stature, and in favor with God and men. And we'd like to welcome all first-time guests in King's Court. If you're with us for the first time, please wait after service so that we can talk to you. And if you're watching online, click on the link in the live chat to fill out our welcome form. And our mission in King's Court is to raise Christ's ambassadors and expand God's kingdom. So this week, remember that as you go to work and other different places. And our services remain as usual. Starting at 9.30, we have Search the Scriptures. We then move into The Encounter at 10.15 a.m. On Wednesdays, we have Living Waters at 7 p.m. online. And on Fridays, we have a prayer meeting at 7 p.m. also online. And Praise Party, a movie by our good friend, Reverend Anuli Ojaku, will be premiering in King's Court. So please stay tuned for more information if you would like to see it. And that's it for the announcements, King's Court. Have a good Thanksgiving Sunday, and may God be with you during the month of July. And even, you know, for the remaining part of the year, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I will now invite the Levites to lead us in worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Can 
Vamos em Biona Fitz. Let's be on our feet, please. Let's give him praise. Let's lift up our hands and bless the name of the Lord. Let's say something good to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega. His mercies never fails us. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. King of glory, we worship you this moment. We invite you into our midst, O oh Lord. Father, as we sing to you this morning, meet every one of us at the point of our needs, O oh Lord. Father, let this week be the best week ever in the name of Jesus. As we lift up our hands and bless the name of the Lord. Father, we worship you. We give you praise. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me. All my days I'll be held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up. Till I lay my hands, I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. Oh, oh. All my life you have been so, so good. I love your voice You have made me to the fire In darkness night You have chose like no other I know Father I know you are a friend And I will live In the goodness of God. All my life, all my life, you have been faithful. All my life, you have been, all my life, you have been so, so good. In every breath, every breath that I am made. Of the goodness of God, I will sing of the goodness of God. I will sing, I will sing of the goodness of God. Oh, 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 I will sing, I will sing of the goodness. Goodness of God, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life, all my life, you have been faithful. All my life, you have been so. I will sing of 
the goodness of God. I sing of the goodness of God. I will sing of the goodness of God. I will sing. I will sing of the goodness.
Thank you, Lord. Nothing compares to the promise Nothing compares. Nothing compares to the promise In you. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, eternal Savior. We give you praise. We honor you forever and ever. We thank you for a powerful time of worship like this. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because our thanksgiving, our worship has come up unto you like a sweet smelling servo. Father, receive it, O oh God. So continue in this service. Please continue with us. Speak to us, O oh God. Change our lives for good. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We'll bless your name forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And everybody say very loud. Put those hands together for the Lord. And put those hands together for our Levites. Thank you so much. You can do better than that. Now look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, first of all, happy new month. Happy Thanksgiving Sunday. And you are about to be blessed. And your life will never remain the same again. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are awesome. Now you may be seated powerfully. Praise God. All right. So without much ado, today is Thanksgiving. I really want to, us to get to the point of the Thanksgiving where we'll you know, bring our, our you know, gratitude to God. Amen. Amen. But before we do that, you know, I, I want to uh, progress with the message that I've, I started you know, um, a couple weeks ago, which is under the blood covenant. Amen. How many of you have been learning a few things of, as we've been covering the, the blood covenant? Amen? You know, um, listen to me. I want you to understand that this blood covenant is one of the most powerful topics in, you know, in our faith as believers. If you understand the importance and the power of the blood covenant, you know, it changes your perspective completely. Amen? It helps you to understand how we relate with God, with Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, uh, just in the next few minutes, I'm just going to, you know, as much as possible, just again go over a few things we've talked about and, and, and bring in some new thoughts, um, you know, especially to help us understand the power that is involved in this uh, blood covenant. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I was, uh, I was thinking, you know, most of you already know that um, um, the covenant, a covenant is an agreement. Is that not so? A covenant is an agreement, usually between two or more parties. Amen. And I, you know, as I was, you know, just preparing for this message, I'm thinking to myself, what's the easiest or what's the most comfortable, or let, let me say, what, 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 what agreement can I hold on to that I can use to describe the kind of agreement that we have? Amen. That the, the, the covenant, the, 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 the blood covenant kind of um, explains. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord. So I first thought of uh, the rental agreement between a landlord and a tenant. You know? Whereby the tenant will, will, will come to the landlord, I need your room. The landlord will say, okay, this is the room I'm going to give you. You bring your, <laughs> your rent, I give you the room, I do security for you, I give you light. You know, it's, it's a nice agreement, is that not so? Because two parties are bringing things to the table, is that not so? The landlord will do some things, the tenant will do another thing, you know, and at the end of the day, everybody is happy, so long as you are playing your part. Praise God. But... You know, there, there was another agreement that, I, that came to my mind, and I kind of like that. And that is the kind of agreement that you have with your credit card company. Praise God. How many people have credit cards here? <laughs> Amen. You know what, how you feel when you go to a store? 
You don't really have money in your pocket, but you have a credit card. Hallelujah. And then you buy some things. You know? And they, they, they assist and they, they keep giving it. What else do you want? You buy more. Is that, have you done all your shopping? You remember Martin? Say, yeah, give me that one as well. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and then it's time to swipe that uh, credit card. And you swipe the thing. And it goes through. And you carry all the package home. <laughs> without a single dime coming out of your hand. Amen. How do you feel? Very good. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Your house is full. And, you know, and it, it kind of gave me the comfort that, you know, um, it's like God has, the, I mean, if you really look at that situation, you have an agreement with a, a, a financial institution. So, for example, if that credit card is with American Express or MasterCard or whoever, Amen. You know, you, you, you have an agreement with them that, you know, give me this card, I will pay this much, and as soon as I pay, you give me, offer, you offer your services. Praise God. Hallelujah. I have one of the, the, the credit cards that I have. If I go and rent a car, the, the rental company, they usually want to sell insurance to me, you know, understand, to, to rent their car. They'll say, okay, you are renting this car. We need to coverage and so on and so on. In fact, there was somebody who was telling me he wanted to rent a car. He said, I have insurance. Don't worry. You know, let me just use my own insurance. He said, no. Give us details of your insurance before we give you the car. They were just messing the person up, you know. But anyway, long and short is that I have, my credit card gives me insurance. Praise God. It's a feature. It's a benefit. So when we are in covenant with Jesus, we get benefits. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You get coverage. All manners of, you know, uh, um, 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 I think uh, my, my wife and I were talking the other day. If I'm traveling and I use that my credit card to buy tickets, hey, 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 praise God. When everybody's queuing like this, I remember one day I was almost missing my flight. I was so late. People were queuing. I said, how would I, if I stay on this queue, by the time I get to the front, that flight is gone. So I asked them, is there anything I can do to move forward? They said, well, what kind of credit card do you have? I showed them, ah, come this way, come this way. They just took me through this path. I went straight to the front. That's credit card power. <laughs> Praise God. I got back in of an institution. Amen. Amen. Took me straight to the front. Went on the plane. Happy. I didn't miss my flight. <laughs> Praise God. So when you have a credit card, you have an agreement. You are backed up. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now don't make a mistake. Oh, be careful here. I saw two young girls talking the other day, <laughs> you know, uh, about their credit card. And one was complaining about her credit card. And she said, ah, this credit card, they, they're always asking me for too much money. dollars four hundred dollars i'm you know i'm paying ah that that's a bad credit card the first friend said in my own credit card they only asked me to pay ten dollars and i've never paid more than ten dollars from the other friend opened her mouth ah how long have you had this card three years ah and you've been spending yes but they only asked me for ten dollars i pay only ten dollars my credit card is a beautiful card <laughs> How many of you know what's going on there? She's in big trouble because she didn't know. So be careful when, when we're talking credit card. <laughs> Amen. But this is where I want you to understand. When they were giving you the credit card, 
The, the financial institution has done some agreements. They've gone to many merchants. You know, when someone comes with a credit card, give them service. We will, we will take care of it. We will pay for whatever they buy. Do you understand what I'm saying? So they go everywhere. They've made arrangements on your behalf. Listen to me. When you are in agreement with the Lord by reason of covenant, he's already done a lot of agreement on your behalf. So you show up in a place with that credit card, they begin to give you service. Hallelujah. You show up. You need God's help. And, 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 and in your prayer, you're showing something that looks like a credit card. You get immediate answer. Hallelujah. Why? Because the battle has been fought. Some agreements have already been made on your behalf. You just come in to cash the check. Praise God. But who made the agreement? Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He already paid the sacrifice. And that's why we can step in and flash our status as a believer. And then we get the backing of heaven on whatever we have placed a demand on. Amen. I don't know if, I'm, if, 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 if you guys are still with me. Praise the Lord. I am telling you this morning the importance of the blood covenant. When you have that covenant in place, what, what you demand, just like, like when you're swapping that credit card, do you have any fear? Blame. Do you have, if you've maxed it out, <laughs> Amen. That's true. You have to know your limits. <laughs> Praise God. And, 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 and I, like, I like the point that mama made. You know, if you have limited prayer life, your credit card is limited. But when you know how to pray and you keep soaking, that is your part in the agreement. You keep on soaking. Because the agreement we have with Christ is he is my Lord and my master. Are you with me? And then he's like, I will back you up to any level. Praise God. But you see, when you say he is my Lord and master up to a certain area, that's where you've put the limit. Praise God. I don't know who I'm speaking with this morning. Open your mind. He has full backing available and the agreement has been made beforehand amen? amen you just need to come in there show who you are identify yourself swipe your car swipe your christianity amen and the devil falls in line resources become available to you praise the lord from this day going forward, every debt paid off in the name of Jesus by reason of your agreement. Because Christ paid the price. So, I, I, I'm, I'm taking my time to explain this. Why? Because uh, some of us, we underplay the importance of this agreement. Hallelujah. This is the crux of the matter. And if you do not respect this agreement, guess what? It can't work for you. We take, we take the agreement uh, um, lightly. Ever since I started this series, I'm telling you my life has changed. And I want you to pay attention. Pay attention. This is, this is crucial. It's crucial to our relationship with Jesus. Amen. Amen. So Hebrews chapter 9. Let's quickly go to Hebrews chapter 9. We're going to read, we're gonna read um, from Hebrews chapter 9. I'm going to read from verse 11. Praise God. And then I'll bring up a few things as quickly as I can. Hebrews chapter 11. We're going to start from verse 11. Hebrews chapter 9. I'm going to start from verse 11. Praise God. It says, But when Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come, speaking about that age, at that specific time, you know, Christ appeared 
as a high priest of the good things that have come, that, that were already forming as far as the new covenant was concerned, it says, then, through the greater and more perfect tent, his body, not made with hands, that is not of this crea uh, uh, creation, he entered once and for all into the holy place, not meant for the blood, not, not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. Praise God. So, the Bible is telling us here that Jesus has a part to play in our blood covenant with God. Amen. Remember when I started this whole series on blood covenant, I talked about the blood covenant that God made between himself and Abraham. Is that not so? And he said to Abraham, Abraham, in blessing, I'm going to bless you. That was God's covenant to Abraham. And there was nobody else there. It, God spoke to Abraham in, in like man to man. And he, he caught an animal. God walked through it for both of them. Are you still with me? So now, in the New Testament, we're being made here to understand that as a believer, we are also in, in a covenant with God. And that covenant, look at it here. It says that Jesus is our high priest under this new covenant. Praise God. What is the job of a high priest when it comes to, especially in the old covenant, what is the work of a high priest? A high priest, uh, uh, even let's just say a priest, all right? A priest is the one that will take your sacrifice and go and present you to God. That is what a priest does. Are you still with me? That's why in the old covenant, the law was that if you committed an offense, you know what to bring as a sacrifice to the priest who will take it on your behalf, kill, so, you know, if your sin is, you did something, you know the Catholics these days, when you, when you sin, you go to the priest, Abby, and you say, I, I've come for confession. Uh -huh. And then you now go to one room like that. They'll say, Father, 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 I have seen uh, something, something. <laughs> Bless me, Father. <laughs> and the man will say, what have you done? Fortunately, you don't see the, the face of the, the priest. That's how I, I've never been to one. I, I only see it on uh, television. So the, you don't see the face of the priest. Nigeria. Ah, in Nigeria. He. Ah. They have, they have to, they, because there are some things you will say. If you see the face of the priest, hey! Ha! Cha! You did that? <laughs> so that's why they cover their face. But Nigeria, Nigeria, <laughs> ah, Oyibo, their face will be right immediately when you are telling them. <laughs> so maybe that's why they don't cover. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Because <laughs> the, the, the person will be, <laughs> in fact, the person will not be able to be comfortable anymore. Okay, imagine that it's a father, father, I'm, I, I just committed armed robbery last night. I, I kidnapped like 10 people. Ha! <laughs> Praise God. I wonder what the priest was. <laughs> I'm looking for my next victim. <laughs> Those of you who are not listening to this sermon and you're on your phone, you are missing. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Anyways, so, you know, he will now prescribe uh, something. Why was I even going with that one? God will have mercy on me. <laughs> Praise God. So, a priest will represent you and take that your, yeah, so, so normally in those days they would say, ah, this, based on that sin, they would say, the priest, the old priest in the Levitical order, they would say, go and bring a pigeon. Pigeon, this one is a small one, take pigeon, you know, uh, bring three of them, then they would sacrifice it. 
You present it to God. The fire will come from heaven and lick the thing. Hey, it's accepted. But if you come with like the one I just described, I don't know how many <laughs> major cows will be requ required for that one. You understand? But either way, you bring a sacrifice and then they present it to God to, on your behalf. Praise God. That's what the priest does. And now, the Bible tells us that Jesus is our high priest. So what a high priest does is that a high priest will take all the priests together. Praise God. <laughs> and all the confession that he has made for other people, he will now gather everything together. Praise God. They will look for one particular goat or an animal. They say, all these confessions and all these gifts, everything, confess it on this animal. You understand? And escape goat. Thank you. And then they will release that one into the wild. It takes some things away. And then the high priest will cover himself with the blood, go inside to represent everybody else. Praise God. Once a year. But now as Jesus is our high priest, hallelujah, in the new covenant, covenant praise God. Luke 22 verse 20 says, Jesus, Jesus when they were, were having instituted the new covenant, said this is the new covenant in my blood. So in the, in the new covenant under Jesus, he is our high priest. So what he now does is that Instead of what the high priest does every year, going in on behalf of everybody, he went in once. And he sacrificed his own blood. And that was it. When the high priest was going before, it was an annual thing. And it was only to cover the blood. To cover the sins. You come back again next year. Because the thing didn't really go. God was still seeing traces of it. But when Jesus did his own sacrifice, covered, washed out completely. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you about sacrifices for a minute. Praise God. Are you still here with me this morning? Uh, a chicken and a pig were having a discussion one day. And they were about to have a, what's it called? Contribution to a breakfast fellowship. They said, what are you bringing? What are you bringing? You know? And um, everybody looked at what they could bring. And the chicken looked at the pig. And the pig was very sad. Ah, what I'm going to contribute to this thing is painful. Big chicken was confused. Said, me, I'm taking eggs. I'm, I'm a chicken. I, I lay eggs. I lay plenty of eggs. I will take my egg there. And then the breakfast is done. And then the pig said, you don't understand. For you, that's just a small contribution. But for me to give what I have, which is sausage and bacon, I've got to die. It's a major commitment. It's a once and for all <laughs> contribution. And that's how the commitment of Christ is for us. Major. He lost his life for it. And that's why you and I you know, uh, we can stand before God and our sins can be forgiven. That's what they call atonement. The forgiveness of sins. So that when, when, when God looks at the blood, the sins are, he doesn't see the sins anymore. The, 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 the angel of destruction said, when I see the blood, I will pass over. It's the blood. It was the same blood. It was the blood of the lamb. Jesus' pre, his pre-incarnate existence, he showed up before he really showed up and delivered Israel. Amen. Amen. I don't know who I'm still speaking with this morning. So that blood has been around and that blood has been delivering, helpful. That blood has been, has been, has been sorting us out for ages. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. So if we read Hebrews 9 a little bit further, he says, um, verse, verse 13, he says, 
For the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of defiled persons with the ashes of a high first sanctified for the purification of the flesh. It brings purification. So in other words, when we give our life to Jesus, he purifies us. That's why when we come to Jesus and we ask him for forgiveness, he can forgive us. He purifies us. Amen. Amen. And we become a new creature. And all sins have, have passed away. The old self has passed away. Our sins have been cleansed and for, forgiven. And there's no record of it again. Hallelujah. Because of this blood that Jesus did on the cross. Amen. Now, look at where this starts getting more exciting. In verse 15, it says, Therefore, he is the mediator of a new covenant to, so that those who are called may receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Let me just stop there. He becomes a mediator. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is a mediator? Praise God. I think that they, they, they have them in marriage. When two people want to marry, they'll find, um, they call them alaga. It's a mediator. What have you come to do in this place? <laughs> a mediator. Abby, you know, Somebody negotiating. Are you still here with me? The Bible says that Jesus is the mediator. So, as a high priest, are you following me this morning? So, as a high priest, he stands as a mediator. So, you bring your sins, you bring your areas of uh, weakness, you bring everything you've done wrong, you bring a lot of um, um, errors, weaknesses you bring to your mediator. Amen. Amen. And the mediator as a high priest goes to God. I say, God, this guy is missing it. He's weak. He's not, you know, what can we do to help him? Amen. Amen. And the devil is busy raining accusations, but he's the mediator. God, don't listen to that guy. Look at the blood. And then he silences the devil. Amen. What a mediator. Hallelujah. And another thing a mediator does, the Bible also tells us that Jesus, he's our um, a prophet. Right? He's our prophet. What does a prophet do? A prophet is the one who tells us the mind of God about a matter. So not only does Jesus represent us to God, he also represents God to us. What a mediator. Hallelujah. It's absolutely nothing else required. What you bring, he takes you to God. When God wants to talk, he brings God's words to you. And he puts you in a place of strength and understanding. Amen. And then I say, so listen to his silence is the devil because he says, God, forgive them because I've paid the price. Hallelujah. That is what is called redemption. Redemption means the price has been paid. Don't look at the sin anymore. The price has been paid. Hallelujah. Our God is good. And all the time our God is good. So how important is this blood covenant? It requires you to ensure that you have this covenant with Jesus. And the interesting thing is that all it takes is for you to confess him. I say, you are my Lord and you are my master. I submit myself to you. Amen. Amen. My Lord, be, 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 Thomas said, my Lord and my God. Amen. Amen. So I like the fact that in verse 15, he says, therefore he is the mediator of the new covenant. And therefore, um, 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 those who are called may receive the promise of eternal inheritance. I want to talk about the inheritance for a few minutes and then I'm done. What is our inheritance? Hallelujah. Amen. Let's start with Abraham. What did he tell Abraham? He looked at Abraham, this man, no child. Abby, and he had made a promise to him. He said, Abraham, don't worry, I'll take care of you. Come out of your... your um, No, the, the, the awe of the Chaldeans. <laughs> it was a, an 
idol worshipping nation. So I want to take you out. Come, follow me. God, where are you taking me to? I don't know. <laughs> but just follow me. <laughs> not that I don't know. I'm not telling you yet. But just follow me. And he followed him. Amen. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. So I'm going to give you a promised land. Now, you all know that he was taking Abraham to a promised land. Amen. Many of us, at the point when we give our lives, there is a loads of promises. Amen. Think of it like the credit card. The day you put your signature and they hand over the card to you, ha! access is delivered to you. Amen. Amen. Wherever you show up with that credit card with confidence, praise God. Praise the living Jesus. So, what I'm saying here is that there is an inheritance. One of them, God said to Abraham, said, I'm going to make your seed plenty. He says, look at the sky. Look at the sea. You are childless right now, but your children will feel everywhere. Amen. Did he fulfill the promise or not? Oh, absolutely. And he said, I will fulfill that promise for generations. Praise God. I, 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 uh, the other day I was sharing um, a few people who were beneficiaries of that inheritance. And one of them was um, the Gibeonites. How many of you remember the story of the Gibeonites? That, I shared? <laughs> that was a very powerful story. Amen. Um, you have to go and listen to the, my message for you to remember, remember that. Now, another person who was a beneficiary of this kind of inheritance... Um, was uh, let's say Isaac. Isaac. Amen? Isaac was living um, um, Isaac was, was living in an area where famine came. Praise God. And he wanted to go back to Egypt and, 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 and go and get some help. Right? Because there was still some food. God said, don't go. Amen. You remember that? In Genesis, God said, don't go. I'm going to help you. I have a covenant with your father, and it extends to you. Hallelujah. Every time God introduces himself, he said, I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Is that not so? So he said, I have this covenant with Abraham. It covers you, Abraham, uh, Isaac. Don't go anywhere. Stay here. And the good thing is that Isaac did what? He listened. He sat there. And throughout that period of famine, everybody was hungry. There was no food. There was no water. God took care of Isaac. Amen. Amen. Inheritance. The benefit of covenant. When you have this covenant, are you paying attention to me? When you understand this covenant and you hold on to it and you see the benefit of it, as Isaac did and listened he never lacked throughout that famine. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that he, wa he started to wax great and was waxing greater. As, and he waxed very great until all the Philistines, Philistines around him started to envy him. Amen. Amen. That was the inheritance of the covenant. Praise God. Amen. Promise. Promise. Joseph, who was a son Oh, Isaac. So, Jacob next. Abi? Jacob, son of Isaac. You know the story of Jacob. In Laban's house, same story. They wanted to cheat him. Inheritance came and promise came through for him. What happened? In Laban's house, he prospered. Joseph, the son of Jacob. Promise. Amen. In Egypt. Until he became prime minister. The inheritance was still flowing. Praise God. Guess who is next in line for that promise? Guess who is in line for that next blessing? If you are that one, shout hallelujah! Because it is available through Jesus. He's the mediator. Let me, let me tell you, 
Even though the Bible says in the New Testament that Jesus was born uh, by Mary, right? The mother of Jesus. Jesus has been around a long time before then. Amen? <laughs> when God told Abraham, go and sacrifice your son Isaac, and the man was about to cut him, God said to him, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I just wanted to test you. Oh, okay. He said, but look to your right. There's a lamb. A lamb came. That was representative. Amen. Of Jesus showing up. Praise God. When they were living in Egypt, just showed up through the same, the same blood. The same blood. What I'm here to tell you, this, let me just tell you one or two things. So the same blood, through the animal they sacrificed. See, there's always a sacrifice here. The sacrifice, the animal, and that was what um, Isaac, uh, Abraham used to, to replace the sacrifice for his son. Amen. And he entered the fullness of the blessing. Praise God. When the children of Israel were living in Egypt, God said, I'm going to do something tonight. Everybody, stay in your house. Kill an animal. Put the mark on the doorpost. Amen. Are you still here with me? And they did it. That was the same blood. The same blood of Jesus that would deliver them. When they, they destruct, the angel of destruction saw that blood, what did he do? He passed over. Let me tell you how they put the blood on those days. God said, put it on the lintel of the house. This represents the house. Let's say, you know how the lintel of the house is. They put one at the crossbar on top in the lintel of the house. They put one on the side. Put one on the side. Suddenly it starts looking like the cross. Because if you put one on top and put one on two sides, that's like the cross. Jesus was there. Jesus, it's like the same blood that brought them out of bondage that night. And they left Egypt super rich. Praise God. You go to the story of Rahab, who was a, a, a um, what's it called? A harlot. They came, they were going to take over that land, but she saw the spies. She took care of them. And they promised her. They said, listen, when we come back, put a scarlet thread. It was also red. Red like the blood. And they said, when we see that scarlet thread, we will save you and your house. Listen to me. The blood brings deliverance. The blood blends, brings cleansing. The blood brings atonement. It brings forgiveness. It brings help and deliverance. Do you need this blood? Do you know it will work for you? All you need to do is to call upon him and say, I plead the blood. And I enter into a covenant and your story changes. Are you ready this morning? Praise the Lord. Let's rise to our feet. Praise the Lord. The power of the blood covenant. There's forgiveness. There's redemption. There's atonement. And there's deliverance. All in that blood. I said all in the blood. He paid the price. Negotiations were already done when you were not there. So you just step in and you begin to benefit. Are you ready to benefit this morning? Hallelujah. So two things we are going to do. Number one, Levites, please come on stage. Number one, you are going to secure your position in that covenant. Amen. All Levites, please step on stage. And it's as simple as you saying, Lord, I need to have this covenant going with you. I want to renew my covenant. Praise the Lord. Pay attention to me very closely this morning. The worst thing that anybody can do for himself is to underplay the power of this covenant. If you think, it's like, okay, you have a credit card, for example. Do I use it everywhere I go? It's like, if I can choose, like, ah, uh, I don't know if I want to use it today. If I don't use it, guess what? It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It doesn't mean the agreements were not there. It doesn't mean the power was not there. 
Are you still with me this morning? The card cannot do nothing for you if you don't pull it out and, and use it. It's available. If you don't apply, you can't get it. Praise God. God is good. I need somebody here to apply. Say, Lord Jesus, I need you in my life. I'm committing myself to this agreement from today. Lord, no other agreement before now stands. This is the last agreement. This is the final agreement. This is the strong agreement in the name of Jesus. Let this agreement overshadow any other agreement in the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, I'm asking this morning, Lord Jesus, Mali pro uskatulia, Father God, I'm entering into a new covenant with you in the name of Jesus. Father, oh God, I just want you to be, and this my agreement means, Lord, that you will be my Lord, and I'll be your child. And from today, this, this blood agreement, Lord, will, will take place in the name of Jesus. Now go ahead and say, Father, I need you to please forgive my sins. Everywhere I've sinned against you, oh God, please forgive me. Lord, I ask for repentance, Lord. I repent, I repent, I repent. Lord, I've, I've said so many things, done many things, lied. I've just, I've disappointed myself in so many areas. But Lord, I come before you in honesty this morning and I, and I plead with you. Lord, wash me clean. Purify me, oh God. Make me fit to stand in a covenant agreement with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, so that when I'm in this covenant, as I call and I place a demand, there will be immediate answer. In the name of Jesus, please forgive me, O oh God. Lord, receive me. Allow me to enter into a fresh covenant with you. Everything I've said and done before, Lord, superseded by this new blood covenant agreement. Lord, I declare that you are my God. I declare you are my king. I declare you are the Lord of my life. Go ahead, talk to God and say, Father, I'm, I'm no longer going back to my old ways. From this day, Lord, I will stay with you. There is an eternal, a covenant is an eternal covenant. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I, 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 I'm going to go back to that prayer, but I just wanted to emphasize something quickly. There's something about covenant. The covenant is multi-generational that's why he god made it with abraham is still working today because it is an everlasting agreement so when you enter into it have it in mind that it is everlasting you're not going into a covenant and and lord let me just do it for one month and, and pull out no i'm committing to it so go ahead one more time and just say father i'm committing to this agreement lord strengthen me oh god forever lord as i enter it make it oh god lord a Permanent one in the name of Jesus. So up to my children, up to my children's children, uh, that it shall be well with us. Uh, Lord, by terms of this agreement, there will be deliverance. Uh, the Almighty God will deliver you from troubles. Uh, he will deliver you from attacks of the enemy. He will deliver you when you are faced with troubles. Uh, he will deliver you when you are trying to get a job. Uh, God will deliver you. He will deliver you from everything standing in your way of progress. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because this agreement will not fail. I bless you forever and ever. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The last thing I want to tell you about this covenant is that is this, every time there is a covenant, a successful covenant, there is a celebration that is attached to it. Hallelujah. And it's a celebration um, based on not just what God will uh, has done, but a celebration of what he will do. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You should see me every time I swipe my credit card and it goes through. Ah! <laughs> my God. Sometimes I do like this. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. You, you approach that transaction with confidence. Or let's say I apply for a credit card and 
They will just say, approved. It's on the way. Ah! Woo! Shatalia. Like, you know, um, the other day I was applying for one credit card that I wanted to do my basement. So I was, I was looking for some credit card that has serious limit. I just talked to them. So how much do you need? I said 40,000. I just gave them a figure. So let's go and check. Let's go and check. Came back. You are approved. Just like that. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God with me. Why are you angry now? <laughs> but what I'm bringing out of it is that the excitement, the possibility that if I show up in this shop, 40,000 worth of goods will leave this place. <laughs> and then they told me that I don't even have to pay for two years. Ah! God, Jesus could have come before that time. I just... <laughs> Amen. But where I'm going with all that is that um, there's just joy. Because there's potential from that agreement. I want to see some joy in the house this, this morning because of the potential of this agreement. Am I speaking with somebody here? If, if you have a credit card that has been declined, 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 okay, I can understand, no joy. <laughs> but you have a new one. This new agreement, it says, bring every old one that has been declining, we will take care of it. <laughs> ah, Shatole. Zini karu ushkatolia. You, this is one car. You don't need any other card after this. Are you here with me? So are you ready to rejoice? Dance. That I just got a new card approved. It says no one will I cast out who comes to me. Praise God. And the way we're going to dance and rejoice is we come to the front. You come, you know, and, and please, uh, let me just put this one in because I, sometimes we forget this. It's so important that when we bring in our thanksgiving, we come with our substance. Amen. Amen. All right. So, very quickly, um, 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 ushers, give us some, yeah. This is a time for us to quickly uh, prepare our gift, our offering, because during this thanksgiving, you're going to bring your gift. You're going to bring your tithes. You're going to bring your offering. You're going to bring your... Um, um, Special gift to the Lord, uh, first fruits, everything. Amen. Amen. Is there someone still here with me? So it's offering time, blessing time. And then bring a thanksgiving as well. So that when you dance to the front, you are dancing because you know that you are entering a brand new covenant. Amen. Amen. And you are excited about what God is going to do with it. Praise God. Before the end of this month, you begin to draw the benefits of the agreement. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Please, if you have your envelopes, write your name Hallelujah. and phone number on it. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you, we thank you, we thank you, thank you, my Lord. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. You are great, yes, you are. Holy one. You walked upon the sea. Mighty God, 
Everything we team about you is great. You are great. You are great. Yes, you are. Holy one. You walk upon the sea. the Lord has done he has destroyed the works of Satan he has given me the victory that's why I sing oh say have you heard what the Lord has done he has destroyed the work of Satan he has given us victory that's why I sing oh say oh say Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. That your hallelujah is on life support. <clears throat> if you really do have joy overflow, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you are confident that you are this month of July, it shall be a season of rejoicing for you and your family. Shout a better hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, see, that hallelujah is just, you know, it's getting better. The intravenous has entered inside. But we need life. If you are a victor, you are a champion in the month of July, shout a better hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the month of July, shouts of rejoicing will not cease from our homes. 
in the month of July, shouts of victory will come forth from our tabernacles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every area that we have been engaged in warfare, in this seventh month of the year, the Lord will perfect all that concerns us. And we will shout shouts of victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, we have brought our thanksgiving to you today. As is our custom. We have brought our thanksgiving this first Sunday of the month of July. We ask, oh God, for every day of the month of July, all 31 days of this month, rejoicing will be our portion in the name of Jesus. Father God, I forbid today that any of your children cry the cry of pain in the name of Jesus. In this month, oh God, I forbid that any of your children cry out in anguish in the name of Jesus. Father God Almighty, your word says that in the tabernacles of the righteous, only shouts of rejoicing shall come forth. So shall it be for everyone here in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the month of uh, July, grant unto us all round victory in the name of Jesus. Your word says God is our refuge and our strength. A very present help in times of trouble. Lord, in this month of July, be our very present help in the name of Jesus. When the oceans roll and thunders roar, Father God, be there to calm the storms for us, O oh Lord. Show forth your might over every area of our lives in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the month of July, let goodness and mercy be evident in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the month of July, when we ask, cause us to receive in the name of Jesus. When we seek, cause us to find in the name of Jesus. I can't hear your amen. amen. What I am saying is that whatever you have been seeking for, in this month of July, you will find it. In the month of July, when we knock on doors, let those doors be open unto us in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you will be a shield around and about us. By day, by night, in the name of Jesus. We declare there shall no evil befall us. Neither shall any plague come near our dwelling places. In the name of Jesus. If there be anyone, Father God, who has been afflicted. If there be anyone going through pain or sickness. Father, today we lift them up before your throne of mercy. You are Jehovah Rapha, the one that healeth us. We ask that you will take away every rod of the oppressor in the name of Jesus. Your word says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Father God, no rod of the oppressor will rest upon our lives in the name of Jesus. In this month of July, you will cause the lines to fall onto us in pleasant places. In the month of July, Father God, we will experience your goodness like never before. In the month of July, let favor encompass us as a shield. In the name of Jesus Christ. We commit our children unto your hands, young and old. We ask, Father, you will be a shield around and about them in the name of Jesus. You will keep their going out and their coming in. Every single day of July, these ones are secured in the name of Jesus. Jehovah Jireh, the mighty provider. El Shaddai, our God, who is more than enough. In this month of July, supply our every need in the name of Jesus. Your word says the young lions may lack and suffer hunger. But those who trust in the Lord will not lack anything good. Father, in the month of July, we will not lack anything good in Jesus' name. Father, this month of July, we call forth jobs. We call forth jobs. We call forth jobs. Everyone who is trusting unto you, trusting you for a job, a new one, or even one. Father God Almighty, make jobs available in the name of Jesus. Let your favor locate us in the name of Jesus. Father God, those who are looking unto you for divine provision. Provision that is beyond our capacity. 
Father, Lord Almighty, we ask you to come through for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are the God who owns heaven and earth. Everything belongs to you. And we are your children. You said even if we, are, we are human beings, being evil, know how to give good gifts to our children, how much more our heavenly father. Father, we ask that you will meet with every one of us beyond the point of our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. You will supply every need according to your own riches in glory in the name of Jesus. In the month of July, put smiles upon our faces. Let testimonies break forth in this household. Amen. Let testimonies break forth Amen. in this household. Let testimonies break forth in this household. Let testimonies break forth in this household. In the name of Jesus. Father God, let there be joining mercies for all those who are traveling. Those who are going from one place to another. Traveling may just be shifting location within town. Father God, I ask that your angels will be, uh, on char will be on charge of every one of us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father God Almighty, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Lord, everyone who has given this morning, we ask that you will make good your word over every life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, for those who have not been able to give, Lord, make room for them to give in the name of Jesus. Lord Almighty, let us have every reason to glorify you this month. Let us have every reason to testify of your goodness. Amen. Let us have every reason to rejoice exceedingly Amen. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. We also remember your daughter, the one who is in the hospital right now, who's, who's battling cancer. Father, Lord Almighty, you are the God of all flesh. There is nothing too difficult for you. Lord, we ask that the blood of Jesus will transfuse her blood and will take out every, every, every cell of cancer in that body in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, visit this child with your power. Visit this child with your mercy. Visit this child in your love in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father and our God, because we will have a testimony over this child. And the devil will not be able to spoil that testimony. We give you praise and glory. We thank you for victory this month. We thank you because we will go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills will break forth in singing before us. Blessed be your name, faithful Father. We adore you and we exalt you. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout a bigger hallelujah. If you're July, if you are confident that in this month of July you If you are confident that in this month of July you will testify of God's goodness continuously, raise up your hands. Aha, okay. In the same way, shout a bigger hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor. All right. So if this is your first time, please come to the front here. We'd like to... Is it here, Pastor Adi? Yes. So come to the front here. We'd like to meet with you, pray with you, and get to know you a little more before you go. God bless you. Hallelujah. Is it just him? Anybody else? Okay. All right, and yes, there's somebody else right there. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right, just before we, before we share the grace, um, I'm going to be away. I'll, I'll be traveling uh, this, this month. Uh, I'm going to the United Kingdom, so uh, I won't be here for a few Sundays, but my wife is going to be here, so... Uh, you're, you're all lucky. <laughs> so, you know, she'll take over and uh, I, I'm just going to ask that everybody, you know, you give all the support, you know, be here early. Don't let her chase anybody, you know. So everybody's serving and everything. Just make sure that you, um, you know, uh, rally around and do more. You know, I expect you to do more. 
you know, I expect the church to invite more people as well so that uh, by the time I come back, we should be ready to move to a new place. Praise the Lord. Have you been blessed today? All right. Um, um, the blessings will be permanent in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace, the grace, the love of God, of the Holy Spirit be with us and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we should dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Have a good week. See you in the midweek service. I want to see more people in the midweek service uh, on Wednesday. Uh,